So you guys really seem to enjoy the watch projector video I made recently. Oh, you, you, you haven't seen it? I don't know why you're... Oh, you, you, haven't, you haven't seen it? Give it a watch. Now you know you know what? I'll admit it. There was one pretty big problem with the watch. Okay, two two pretty big problems problems. Three problems. Four problems with the watch. Okay, seven problems with. The okay, actually, hold up, hold up. Pause the video for a second. Hey, hey, buddy. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. What's up? Yo, what, what are you doing? What? Making us look bad out there. Yo, man. I'm just calling it like I see it. Shavon himself even said he don't appreciate. It. He really, he really said that? Yeah. All right, well, I'll try and do better for this one. I know you will. You got this. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know what that was. In all seriousness, though, in the last watch, you couldn't really interact with the projection. Like, it projected on your wrist. Right here, you could see stuff. You preload, like, a stopwatch or a picture or a movie, whatever app you wanted, but then you pretty much just were stuck with it. So in this video, we're gonna make it interactive. Yeah. Now I could use buttons to do this, but let's be honest, that's that's some beginner level. Bro, you still use hot glue daily. Okay, can you just stop? Like, I don't know what's happening. I'm getting really weird vibes through, man. No, no. Anyways, to control this projector, we're gonna be using a hand tracking software called Leap Motion. So here's a quick demo of how the hand tracking works. Got the device right here plugged in to my laptop. So basically the device has two cameras inside of it that pick up infrared light and an infrared light blaster in the middle. And using the distance between the two cameras, the software can track where your hands are in real time. So if I put my hand in front of the Leap Motion, you can see it's left view, it's right view, overlays your hand right onto the screen. It's mirrored right now, obviously, because I'm facing opposite the display, but you can see what's happening. Wiggle the fingers, two hands even, two thumbs up. So we can control the desktop of the computer with our finger. Swipe between screens, flip between applications. You can do a bunch of stuff on this just with your hands. We can mess around with like trees and sh mess around with robots, more trees. I think personally I'm probably gonna use the swiping and like scrolling gestures mostly because it's a little bit hard to like peck at stuff. But if you guys have any ideas about like other cool ways to control this or things to control, um, let me know down in the description because <laughs> clearly you guys want more. Not working. To plan B. So I built this little arm thing around the leap motion. Um, this will obviously hold it on your arm. Kind of slips on like that. Doesn't need to be elastic because this part of my arm is just so good. Just kidding. Oh, don't anyone look at my calves though. This sits up on your arm like this. The watch goes down a little bit lower. I know it's getting pretty cluttered. We're gonna worry about getting all the functionality first. Then we can worry about making it more compact. The watch can now also fit on our wrist. And we still do have this cable which connects it to the rest of the projector drivers, which I actually put inside of this box. Houses it a little bit better, protects it a little bit more. And then this brick will slide into your backpack along with your laptop. This cable plugs into my laptop to get the video out just like that. And obviously we have to plug in the Leap Motion as well. <laughs> we gotta use an adapter. Ooh, Steve Jobs, what are you doing to me? Sorry, Tim Cook. Tim Apple, my bad. Got everything in the backpack, got the watch on, and as you can see, it is projecting onto my hand right here. So I've loaded up a couple of app simulations. It's not fully functional yet, but right now we have a messaging app. We've got the contacts on the side and the messaging um, 
on this side. But now we can actually use a two finger swipe gesture to flip into another app. So if I stick my two fingers up like this, swipe up, we, as you can see, the device changes. And now we are in a weather app. Okay, looks like it's gonna be sunny out. Let's uh, come down here. Oh, there's the rest of the weather. Weather. Oh, what do we got here? Is that my channel banner? Is that Jay Laser video? God, what a, what a horrible YouTube channel. Again, let's scroll up and see what else we got. Uh, ooh, all right. So now we got a calculator app. So we've got all the numbers right here. In future generations, we'll hopefully be able to touch these and actually get it to work. Keep flipping through the apps. Uh, then we come up with a calendar. All the dates, all the months for 2019. Keep on scrolling, don't mind if I do. Oh, this is probably one of the most useful ones considering it's a watch. So yeah, we actually have a clock built into this thing now. Finally guys, we had to throw a little bit of Netflix in there in case you ever want to watch a movie on your on the palm of your hand. Now you can. But wait, there's more. Because this is a projector, we can actually project this on other surfaces. Also, as you can see, it does kind of work in the light, but it's a little bit dimmer. There's a little camera focusing thing right here that we can turn if we want to project on a bigger screen. Just gonna crank this up a bit, turn, and uh, now we have a clear picture of Netflix. So we can control this with gestures, obviously. Just swipe down. So yeah, there you go. If you ever want a bigger screen, you can just project it on whatever you want and still use all the apps with the same gestures that we used before. So yeah, that's about it guys, interactive projector watch. Now I've got some ideas about stuff we can do with this, like maybe incorporate it into some of my other gadgets, like maybe one gesture allows us to shoot fire, or like lasers or whatever. I don't know, leave your ideas down below. I'm gonna go edit this video, so I can make some mojo. dough. Whoa, that was like five rhymes in a row, you know? SoundCloud link in bio, like and subscribe, peace out, yo. Oh, he does it! He completes it!